Well, welcome to today's 60 Second Shrewsbury Town update. I'm Lewis Cox. If you haven't already had a look at today's Shropshire Start newspaper or checked online at the website, um, stacks full of Shrewsbury Town reaction, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff and fallout from the nil-nil draw against Port Vale at the weekend, all my analysis, player ratings and, and key moments to have a look at. Uh, also on the back of the paper and online, you can check out the reaction from boss Paul Hurst. Some really interesting things to say after the game. I thought it's been a mostly positive start, you know, we're talking four clean sheets from seven games. Um, club is still bottom, we know that we, we went through a couple of wins then followed them up with defeats, so it's been a mixed bag but in terms of sturdying, you know, steadying the ship, um, tightening up the back line, as I say, four clean sheets, it was a good job um, but Paul Hurst is talking in the newspaper today about seeing a more uh, more of a full throttle uh, Shrewsbury Town performance, he, he's aware that the club are a bit cautious in terms of midfield, too many touches, not not just trusting their instinct and attacking, uh, they did that at parts in the second half against Vale and looked really good when they worked the wingers of the 4-4-2. So, so less the, the phrase he actually uses is that the club is still the, the players are still dipping their toes into the water and testing it. He wants them to to unleash the chains, go from the off off and uh, and really put teams to pay. Uh, he also talks about Mark Halstead and Jason Lukeboiler in the paper. Um, of course, Jason was back in goal for the weekend after Mark's enjoyed a, a stint between the sticks. So much competition there between the posts.